Alright, what's up? So today we are back with another video. This one's going to be about um, the Zoyaf YT Invitational Xbox Tournament. It was a 16 man tournament with some arguably definitely the best players on of you know the Xbox console. Um I had great players like God Ain't My Pig, the former ESL champion, um uh who defended it. You know, we beat the undefeated ZF, you know, Blake Tyler obviously won the GO tournament. Some great players, Fadinator obviously, uh Dabakin, former ESFL champion, the first in uh, UFC four, had the likes of CIA Webcam, EK Trixie, Venom Champion. Um we had loads of good players basically just to break down quickly there, Kesela and your dad, just to name a few more as well. And um in the first round, I had the likes of Jakey and stuff like that. But basically, long story short, we have made it to the final to lay it out. This is going to be a breakdown of the final fight in the best of three that happened uh, against... That took place against Fadenator. It's currently 1-1. One, one. Um, in the first fight, he got to pick the, uh, Whitaker in the first and middle way, And I got to pick... Uh, oh, no, I picked Biz Bing, which was the wrong choice in hindsight. And... Uh, you know, played out as the wrong choice as he beat me up pretty handedly. And then in the second fight, I picked TJ and he had to pick DJ and I won, luckily, because that would have been the end of the set there. No coming back if I had lost that one. And then in the final one, Fadinator gets the choice. If you don't already know, I guess we'll just let you see who he picked. He did go with Max Holloway. So I just wanted to break you down real quick, give you a bit of a background if you haven't seen it. This is for $140 best of three finals it's 1-1 one, one. everything's on the line here he has his corner i have his, my corner we're all ready and set to go obviously um he also had you know some great players in his corner like the likes of blake and max so you know you have to think he's he's getting some good advice in his ear you know what i'm doing is definitely getting red so i have to keep it a little bit fresh and you know be a little bit unpredictable here i had uh, the likes of dab and reese so Good man in the round right. Dad was a lot, lot more vocal than Reese, obviously, but he knew he kept me calm. It was good. But so here we are, starting off. Obviously, he picked Max Holloway. I would have preferred Max Holloway myself. I come in with the game plan. I want to just, you know, pause this really quickly here. I come in with the game plan of feeling it out. To be honest, within the first two minutes, I like to sometimes. I like to hit the body. I like to hit the head. I like to say, all right, he's blocking the body shots. He's hitting me when I'm going for body shots. So I'll kind of discard that, and I'll be like, oh, I'm finding success to the head. Or sometimes I'll be like, all right, he's open for the body. He's head hunting. Um, I can target the head and stuff like that. So I came out here thinking that. So at the start, you'll see me hitting the head and body. I wanted to see, is the head and body going to be open? And I do do a lot of good body damage earlier, but as, you know, Max Holloway, he is putting that pressure on. He is punishing me for it. I got to kind of use that power advantage that Connor does have. I got to stop him in the middle of his combos. I'm doing a nice little bit of pressure here. Definitely, you know, hitting with that body kick, which is nice when he tried to move out. I'm pressuring with the jab again. I'm getting nice body damage off and sorrow mistake. Oh, absolutely horrific. There I was thinking, all right, should a jab body up good? So he pulled elbowed, got the rock, and then he hit me i leaned into something i ducked into an uppercut and he hit me with an overhand after i tried to pull back on it but luckily only to start the fight but not away i want to be starting it with my block it and shield i land that body kick on the exit right now still in the feeling process obviously unfortunate i've been rocked but dab's thinking dab was saying to me listen man you have a bad problem where you know if i get rocked in a fight i'll you know i'll be like fuck all right i want that one back i'll try and hit them with a three piece of my own i'll try and hit them with a spinning kick of my own and i'll try and get that damage back but he said hey listen man after every rock after every bit of damage reset exit the pocket so look there i get caught in the pocket i'm sure dab's like hey just calm down and uh that's what i try to do so you'll see me maybe exit a little bit or even just use the jab straight you know i'm not trying to overload with strikes i'm not trying to kind of bad trade there he does get the rock but luckily i kind of interrupt his uh string of combinations that he was putting together with the elbow so i'm thinking here at this point i know it's about this point in the fight where i'm like all right fad's head health is a is getting you know he's increasing the gap and i'm getting the body health advantage but body health i'm not taking much stam even though i'm getting the damage and i felt like you know man this fight's gonna be ended in head health decider so i said i 
made the conscious decision to cut out body health damage or cut out body damage i said i'm not doing strikes to the body i'm not taking the risk i'm going for he foot held head hunter my apologies and uh, i want to try and get him out of there but fad's doing an excellent job he's doing everything he needs to do the double jab he hits me with the jab lead hook straight the jab lead hook straight luckily i did do a good job of reading fads combos over this fight destroys my block there it hits me block again with two with four punches luckily i pull back on that all right so it must have been a little bit after this i make the decision all right fuck off the body i think it's when he um i rock him or he rocks me towards the end quite possibly a lot of rocks in this fight in my opinion this is maybe one of the best competitive fights that i've seen uh, I mean the intensity levels were absolutely skyrocket as you'll get to see but look at him he's you know j uh, jab hooking me he's delaying the straight and then catching me on the way back from head movement so uh, I don't know why I did it man it hurts me to this day you can even see a big chunk of stamina get taken off me watch my stamina bar because I use a lot of short term star uh, stam and then I clinch him and look boom that's a huge chunk of unnecessary stamina usually i'm very aware of what's happening i'm like all right my stamina is this the time is this if i throw this i'm probably going to win the trade but if he throws this he might win you know i'm kind of thinking of everything all the possibilities i'm looking at the time but i like had tunnel vision i was just looking at our both of our fighters and um unfortunately i uh gave away a big stamina advantage there he does a nice little pullback straight at the start of the round I do interrupt him with that jab rear hook, but his money... Oh, look, man. I felt... Oh, my God. His head movement was fucking sensational. But one thing as well, I felt like... I'll skip back here. I felt like I'm behind in the head health. Just look at our head health. He's even chipping him back. So in the fights like this, you have to take risks. I said it to Dab, you know, man. I don't want to let this fight get away from me just because i'm just going shot for shot i said if i want to if i'm gonna lose i want to know that i like put everything there uh, like i i threw everything that i wanted to and i didn't think oh man maybe if i did just go big i would have got it i i thought you know man i'm behind i gotta try something and that's exactly what i do here i feel like fad on my jab is entering a lot so i thought i'll throw the jab i believe i throw a jab and then I throw the spinning heel kick. He enters with his own straight to interrupt my combo. And, uh, I mean, what can I say? The man's head movement was godlike this fight. Along with his up kicks. He knows his stuff. He read my combos beautifully. As did I his. But, um, still, it was just very impressive. Because uh, sometimes when I got a rock, it seemed to be a critical rock. You know, I got more crit rocks than he did, probably. So, I mean, I would be beating him up for a while and head movement was beautiful luckily i did sway a nice little sh strike there you know the head health is deteriorating though but dab is still in my ear i'm just thinking all right man i need to get them straight strikes out uh, right now i'm thinking i need to kind of claw the head health a little bit back look there there's the jab lead hook straight man like i was saying that was money from this fight i'm just trying to read his combos i'm just trying to get and miss and i'm just trying to even look for a counter and there we go speaking of counters like i said man I'm very hesitant. We've been hitting each other with jab, jab, straights, jab, lead, hook, straights the whole time. And I've only been using block head movement. And I've just not been doing the damage that I want. Knowing the combos that are coming. You know, in comp fights, sometimes you're not risky. You're not risking enough to lean to the side. You're not risking enough to throw that one front kick that you want. And, uh, you know what, man? I said, I'm eating too much damage on the block. i got to show him. You're not going to just hit my block and get away with it. So I had to slip to the side. I got the rock. And uh, now, look, I'm just slowly jabbing him. And that was one of the best things I felt. If I hit Fad on the entry, made him back up, I could slow pressure him with jabs there. And then I would get his block low and uh, his head health. I'd break through to it eventually. But I also noticed, look, there, another beautiful slip straight. And my God, he knew my combos. They were on he, his head movement, man. My patterns were being read. Unfortunately, he does catch me with that. And I'm thinking, all right, man, I don't care about the body. But at the same time, I can't risk taking a body rock. Look, man, he's putting his combos together beautifully. Drops me again. Or right, this is the first drop, I believe. Luckily, I do time an up kick. Lovely. The man, uh, I lean into another one. Here. Wait a little bit. Wait. Wait a little bit too long there for the double up kick. Uh, for the up kicks. You know, so uh, luckily, wasn't the double up kick. Did wait enough time in between them, which was against the rules. So, good stuff on my end. Unfortunate. Um, I do do a lot of damage there. 
Um, but like I said, man, I'm just trying to climb my way back into this. I'm trying to sway one of every two strikes. I ended up looked at lead hook just out of range. I said, you know, I have to go for something big, man. Uh, that's what I'm doing this fight. So I jab, jab, look, man. Oh, I was very upset about that. I felt as though it was ghosted. But JC later came into my DMs. I explained it to him, you know, that I was frustrated at that point in the moment. He had explained it to me, hey... You know, the reason I happened, I watched it, so I even thought that was a bit weird. But apparently, I threw the jab, jab, and his block was, you know, uh, blown up. And then I hit the, sh I threw the straight, and it missed. And it gave him enough time for his block to regenerate to where, as though the head kick didn't have a devastating fashion. So, good stuff. Did I land that jab hook down in the pocket? It was money this fight. Fadonator, the up kick king, I think. Um, knows when to up kick every time, right time. So he's a smart man. I get the jab straight lead hook out there though. I'm just trying to interrupt him. He gets the look. My head movement on point, luckily for me, man. Oh man, look at this though. For the last two rounds, yeah, you, you have to just think, man. For the last two rounds, both of our head held. One hook could have finished the fight. The right head kick, the right straight, the right jump. Just do it. You know, there was, we just both played it perfectly, but both kind of gave each other this chance to survive as well. You know, on his rocks, um, I felt as though he read my combos very well, but sometimes with Connor's lead hooks and his straights, the lead, uh, the lead hook into the straight, it makes the short shots very short. So I felt as though um, when I throw the lead hook, I thought it was in range, but I was just barely out of range. So he'd lean and it wouldn't do any damage. And then obviously when I got rocked, uh, luckily he was overloading me with combos, which Blake suggested against. He said just single shots, but high volume of them. And that would have worked a lot better. I would have been a little bit more panicky. So good cornering by Blake. But apparently, you know, and I don't blame Fad. It's a comp fight. There's a lot on it. So Fad, right now, he's just thinking, you know, he gets the rock. He sees his blood. As I would say, oh, I see you red. But nah, look, I luckily I exit the pocket there. Both of our health, just look at that. Both of our block, every jab. He's pressuring me here. I luckily evade that little knee just out of range. I'm thinking, all right, man. I, I think I'm going to lose at this point, to be honest. And I'm panicking. Look, I'm swaying. I'm just trying to avoid the straights. I'm just trying to avoid the jabs. Duck the hooks. Pull the uppers. You know, I'm just trying to do anything I can. But I do get that slow jab pressure going on. And he interrupts me beautifully. And gets the fucking drop. And, man, I thought it was it. He dropped me with no head held. But look, man, you're going to see some good slow jab pressure. I love it. Especially when somebody's block is low. He rocks me again. Boom. Best part of the fight for me, personally speaking. I mean, it was just so clean. I was so impressed with myself. So watch this. So Fadonator rocks me. Rocks me. Throws a jab. Uppercut. Hook. Ah, oh, beautiful. I swayed the uppercut, pulled the hook in the same sequence, and then elbowed him. And he up kicked me back. I mean, that's in the space of 30 seconds. I think I'm done. 30 seconds later, I think he's done. And we just survive. So, look, I get another rock, and I judo throw. Horrid mistakes I made in this fight, but, you know, I guess I'll learn from them. Right now, look, man, zero health. So, I'm thinking, all right, man, I know, I keep saying all right, just this fight, man, it was something mad. Every time, I'm thinking, jab, jab, jab. He doesn't duck. It was a raid I made earlier in the fight. You seen when I went for the jab, jab, the straight head kicks, the jab, straight head kicks. That if I was too accepting of willing to let you know he'd just rely on that guard he just think he has low stamina he'll get through my guard he won't get through my head you know i can throw a jab jab straight lead hook the jab jab straight will get through his um block and by the time i land the lead hook my stamina is not very high his block has taken most of it and the lead hook will do very minimal damage so fad was very accepting of the fact that i was going to go jab jab straight not have the stamina to unleash a combo after so i read that and i thought like i said man earlier in the fight it's all a lead up to this you gotta take risks if you think for it if you think of it just go for it trust your gut it may get you in trouble sometimes but you know you just can't hold back because sometimes you will just you'll screw yourself over and it'll be the biggest mistake you'll make i mean just watch that for instance just i could have easily went for a jab jab straight lead hook he would have survived and eventually he may have just killed me there. But I went for it. I said jab, jab. 
I also I just want to skip back there because I want to I don't know I think it was something smart myself but you may not have realized that so with the slow jab I keep calm I just you know because I can keep jabbing my stamina stays high enough and I'm not thrown in uh, succession you know I'm not doing a double jab where I need to take a break after I'm doing a jab half a second jab half a second jab half a second I'm not doing jab jab then I'll have to wait a second for the combos to reset I'm doing jab 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 so i d get the block low but look i think um you'll see it here i do watch jab i pull the shot out so look jab i pull the shot out i pull back he has lower short term him with a double jab and then a single one so jab pull out make a miss jab 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 spinning heel kick it was nice, I can't lie. I was pretty happy with the finish myself. Just, you know, I felt like it was kind of a... Uh, it was rewarding. I didn't just get like a flash cut or anything. It was kind of some thought went into it. The game may not be that deep, you know, and the skill ceiling isn't that high, but it was satisfying just, you know, just thinking. You know, I've done well there. I've done well there, I'd like to think. But fucking hats off to Fad. He gave me the probably the hardest set I've ever had. Just in terms of, you know, how razor thin it was. He battered me in the first one. I battered him in the second one. And for uh, probably 90, I'd say 85% of that fight, it was on in knife's edge. One mistake we were both done. And somehow one, that one mistake didn't come for so long because we were just evading. We were swaying. We were ducking. We were uh, stepping out of range, using our footwork. We were jabbing. We were oh, everything about it. Fad's an excellent player. I couldn't get, you know, I couldn't have asked for more, a tougher fight. And uh, I was just lucky to come out to Victor, to be fair. Any other day, that could have been Fad's fight. So, yeah, but that was it. I take home $140 and I'm the champion of ZFYT's tournament. Overall, very happy with the performance and... Uh, I hope you have enjoyed the breakdown and I hope you can take something from it and maybe, you know, learn a little bit just yourself and what, you know, a little bit of thought that goes into these very extremely high pressure um, big stake fights. But once again, I hope you have enjoyed it, boys. If you've liked, like, it would be appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe to me and watch your game at least do so. Good fights.